Hi, welcome to my art workstation tour of 2015. So yeah, this is where I basically do my artwork and videos and t-shirt designs and all sorts of other things. So I hope you enjoy it and I will talk you through everything. So I bought my flat here in June 2014 and I decided to make my art workstation the dining room. And I've got this curtain here which I can um, cover it up and you know, block it off from the main part of the house. Uh, so I had the desk built bespoke by a friend. It is a kitchen worktop <laughs> and I will show you some pictures here of the construction or destruction because it was actually quite a job and made quite a mess. So I also had the shelves put in. They are also a kitchen worktop and the cupboards at the back are Ikea. Cupboards underneath are Ikea but I'll take you through everything and I'll try and be quick because I'm sure there's lots of things. Uh, to go through. Um, I will also try and find links to anything I can find on the internet from where I bought things in case that you wanted to buy them too. <laughs> I'll try and put prices and stuff. And yeah, so enjoy! Okay, so starting off with my computer setup. So I've got a laptop here, and you may have noticed this big thing here. This is actually a Wacom Cintiq. It is the 27 inch. It's not the touch screen one, I so couldn't afford that. It's just the plain old normal pen display. So I bought the Cintiq from the MCM Comic Con in May 2015. I believe it was about £1,500, but I can't be sure. I will find how much it was and link in the description. This is just a normal monitor that I've got and all three connect to this laptop. These are the specs of my computer by the way in case you're interested. Although I do have some upgraded memory and a solid state, solid state hard drive to upgrade this to. I just haven't done it yet. So all three items are sitting on Ergotron arms. So you can see here the laptop is actually sitting on a laptop stand. and. If I go around here, use this handle carefully, <laughs> I can actually pull the Wacom forward and down, although it is kind of attached to my laptop there. I've got something. Let me just move that out of the way without opening that. <laughs> so I can pull this right down forward and yeah, put it against my desk like that. Here's a little bit of shameless promotion for you. That's me and those are all my designs. So yeah, that's pretty cool to work with. So you can see it's connected by an Ergotron arm here. Uh, excuse that noise, my computer is making noises. <laughs> and this monitor is also connected and I've got a spare arm there so you can see what they look like. And I love them. I think they're the best thing in the world. So the best thing about these Ergotron arms is they're not actually sitting on the desk at all. So I've got loads of space. These are actually just two external hard drives. Obviously I've got my little keyboard here. Uh, there's <laughs> drink coasters. Uh, mouse, that's easy. This is the book I'm reading at the moment. It is amazing. Amazing. My phone, my planner. Oh, and there's actually a, a whole video on my channel where I go through my planner and show it to you. So over here I've just got some papers that need filing, oh and the latest edition of Imagine FX colouring book and underneath here I've got some artwork that needs to be filed away 
I've got my superheroes on the wall there. This is actually a perpetual calendar. Um, that's not the correct date. <laughs> I don't think I've ever changed it, so I just like the picture. This is my camera. It's the, there we go, EOS 700D. I do most of my video recordings with this, like of my artwork and stuff. Okay, so tissues, that's pretty self-explanatory. I've got a wide Copic marker here. I've got some paintbrushes. I've also got these paintbrushes which you fill with water. Uh, you know what those are. I've got some Copic markers here. I do have some more of these. I bought them at Comic-Con like a week ago. And I'm going to another Comic-Con soon and then I'm going to show you the Comic-Con haul. So watch out for the haul video on my channel soon. Um, so this is just some <laughs> oil. I don't know what it's doing here. I've got my needable eraser. I've got another eraser. That's just water. Pencil sharpener. Tape. Oh, these are rings, circa rings that go with my planner. I've got loads of pens in here. These are jelly roll pens. They are really, really cool. Especially this white opaque one. I just dropped one down the back. Pencils. Got loads of different pencils. Cool marble ones. This is a light. This light came from Ikea. This is an Ot light. This is really cool. It's got really white light. Um, I've got some markers and liners in here. These are all from my Inktober videos. This is my telephone. I don't use it much, but I love it. So this is my charging station. I've got the battery for this camera charging. This is the battery for my Canon camera. Um, oh, this is a power bar to charge my phone. That's another battery. I've got a torch in here. Batteries. Um, this is my skybox. I'm it's all sort of connected down there, so I want to put this actually under my desk, but I just haven't got around to it yet. This is really cool. I made it. And I've got this remote control here because it is plugged into a plug socket, which has a remote control. You ready? How cool is that? These are actually coasters. I've got four of them. They are my own designs, and they were printed at Ripped Apparel, and they're actually going to be printed again I think from 23rd of November 2015 so I will link to Ripped Apparel in the description but obviously if you're watching this video after November 2015 then you've kind of missed out because they won't be for sale anymore they're actually made of marble so they're pretty cool this is my one sketch a day sketchbook I haven't done very many but uh, they will all sort of be on my channel you can see I've been doing the <laughs> superheroes from the picture over there so this wall is going to be my display wall at the moment I've got nothing up but I've got all the frames ready I've actually got a picture here and a picture here ready to go up these are pictures by Anne Stokes I absolutely love her work so I'm looking forward to decorating that you'll have to come back in 2016 to see the update on that so this area is basically where I do all my drawing and stuff. I've, uh, that's not usually there. <laughs> so I usually have my camera set up here. This light is not usually so close. And yeah, this is where the magic happens. And obviously over here at my computer is where I do my digital artwork. So over here I've got a little emoticon thingy. He sort of came with that little poopy which is over behind there. I've got a um, calendar. I absolutely adore the Art Nouveau style. This is my kitty cat clock and oh man, is that the time? <laughs> well, time flies, doesn't it? Um, okay, so this is a box with just miscellaneous junk. Um, this is, oh I know what this is. This is actually a folder that I keep artwork by Bailey J in it. I follow her on Patreon and on YouTube. So yeah, flowers, they're fake. <laughs> Random receipts. This is a rock from Tintagel Castle. I don't know why I kept it, but there you go. There's a fan in the back, it's a USB fan. This is Lowly Worm. He's so cool. He's from the Richard Scary books. Like, I absolutely adore those books. So yeah, <laughs> I love him, he's so cool. Um, My Little Ponies. I love them, they're so cute. 
This is a mirror, because sometimes I do my makeup while I'm sitting at the desk. This is a light that I got from Primark. Uh, I think there's batteries in it. It's quite light in here, yeah, so <laughs> you won't see much change. This is a box. There is nothing in this box. There's a dragon in the back there. Oh, this. This is a number 11 snooker ball, or billiards ball, or pool. Wait, what do you call it? Anyway, whatever. It's a gear stick knob. I had it in my Volkswagen Beetle for ages, so I kept that when I sold the car. TARDIS in the background, that is a money box. This is my um, USB microphone. I use this to record the voiceovers for my videos. This is the pen for my Wacom Cintiq. And this is the Golden Smaug, I think that's what it's called. I always want to say Smog, but I think it's Smaug. Smaug. I don't know. Someone please tell me in the comments how to pronounce his name. So, up the top. I've got, this is where I keep the coasters, and I've got one, two, three um, <laughs> boxes of lights. I'm going to make um, some of those circus marquee lights, but I just haven't got around to it. Empty boxes. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with these yet, except for this one's got cords in it. And there's a red feather quill. So that's my shelving. Um, obviously this isn't finished. I've just plonked stuff wherever. The top of the shelf isn't done. I need to finish it off. And also on the edge of the shelves where the desk is meeting the wall, it's like, it's not finished. I need to fix that. The same with my desk just here. Oh, this is my handbag. <laughs> oh, and this is a really cool box. I love this. It's Medusa. There's, oh, just some tiles in it. But... I absolutely adore that. So on top of the cupboards I've got another monitor but I don't think I will put it on this Ergotron arm because I don't think I need another monitor. I think this is quite enough. Uh, and also that on the top there is just a picture that I did at school. Uh, I can't really reach it so I'm not going to show you but maybe another time. I'm thinking at some point I might like put some pictures on these cupboards but I'm not sure yet it's really nice having them white at the moment so this one has got my old computer in it and this package in the corner is something that I've been meaning to work on for a long time it's sort of templates to make your own plates but I will go into that in a future video at some point these are some of my jewelry supplies um, this one here is, this box is just full of leftover bits and pieces. I'll pull it out and show you. It's like all different wire and stuff. So, yeah, just bits and bobs. I really need to tidy that up. So these are quite heavy, so I'm not going to take them out, but I'll put the camera in them. So you can see there's a key there and there's lots of wire in there and there's all my wire tools. And in here there's lots of beads and in fact this whole case is full of jewelry that I picked up at boot sales now honestly that <laughs> wouldn't have cost me much at all and it is absolutely full so that's the best way I think to get lots and lots of jewelry like beads and charms and bits and stuff all in one go for really cheap and I use that often <laughs> I dig through it it's so awesome So in this cupboard I've got all my camera equipment at the bottom, I've got a microphone here, um, there's a tripod here, this is my tripod case, camera case, in here I've got, uh, it's like a small camera, it's kind of like a GoPro but it's the cheaper version, it's not actually a GoPro. I've got two sunglasses cases, this is for my camera, uh, oh for a sake kit. <laughs> bits for my camera. Up the top here I've got um, another tripod. This is a motion time-lapse thingamajiggy. Another tripod and oh this is really cool this. This is, if I can get it out, my print from Ripped Apparel when it was a sort of like a record. You can see the picture I did in there. It's um, It was a parody of Iron Maiden. I've got Imagine FX magazines in these two binders 
and another Imagine FX thing. Book of Nemi, more magazines. These are mostly sort of comic books that I'm going to use for a collage. I've got, I think, more magazines here. <laughs> uh, I've got some paper, some sketch pads, uh, some canvas at the bottom. I think there's some like, I think that's a calligraphy book or something. I don't know. This is a big sketch pad and in this sort of box is some artwork but sort of wrapped up but kept flat. So that's that cupboard. Right, onto the drawers. So these are from Ikea. This top one is just mainly full of junk and <laughs> yeah, so checkbook, scissors, just stationery, bits and pieces like I should really go through it and throw stuff out. I've got like a passport and all sorts of bits and bobs. Some more sunglasses. Uh, I don't even know, to be honest. <laughs> this one has got, um, apart from photos, it's got just some sketch pads and stuff. This one's a watercolour pad. And you can see there's just scribble on that one. That one's a watercolour pad, obviously. Uh, postcards, okay. Oh, this is a purse from Turkey. Oh yeah, I wondered where they went. Stickers. They're pretty cool. Um, just a notepad. I've also got some um, Nemi cartoons just down here. I love Nemi. Uh, a notebook. White tack. Another notebook. Um, I've got some Express It blending card. This is good for Copic markers. Another notebook. I've got some clear sort of paper. I've got another Copic pad there. And a jumbo sketch pad and some more stuff at the bottom. So that's that drawer. This one has got mostly all my art supplies. I've got my 24 pack of Color Race pencils. Um, this is <laughs> this used to have brushes in it. I think I put the brushes on my desk. So I've got my watercolour set here. It is Winsor & Newton. There we go, so yeah, this flips over. So there they are in there. And I've got my watercolour pencils. I love these. I've had these since like school from like forever ago. <laughs> Uh, okay, this is a little bit of a mess. <laughs> so I've got all of these that haven't been opened, my mum bought me. So I've got these big market pens. I've got these gel sticks. I've got, oh, I love these, Art Use Picker. <laughs> um, yeah, I have used those, but I keep them in the pack. I've got these Stedler fine liners. Oh, wow, I didn't realise I had quite so many. <laughs> I've got the more big markers and I've got some Tesco ballpoint pens. I must have bought those ages ago. Oh, pencil sharpener. That's handy. Although it's kind of corroded. -y. This is a pencil made out of a real twig. I watched the guy make it at um, Penshurst Craft Fair or somewhere. So that was pretty cool. This black case is a drawing case. Um, you can see in the front it's got the little sketch dude. So it comes with a whole load of pencils and a notepad. So you can see the pencils under there. I don't believe I've used it all that much. There's nothing in it at the moment. So my mum bought me that for Christmas one year. So it's really nice. I like that. I've got a load of old pencils here. They are Karan. Uh, I can't read it. Karan. Oh, if, if you guys can read that, go for it. There you go. I've got some charcoal pencils. I've got just some plain uh, HB pencils. I've got so many Sharpie markers. <laughs> yeah, I 
latest loose oh look here's all those brushes um these are graphite stick pens pencils by the way i've got loads of those um yeah so this is where all my brushes went to <laughs> so yeah so this is actually a bit of a mess to store. so i need to sort of tidy it up and take care of things a bit more i think This drawer is mainly just sort of packing materials. This is wrapping paper. I've got my Swan Star Designs stickers, uh, bubble bags. Um, let's see. Oh, I've got tickets. I always keep ticket stubs. Like, oh, since maybe 1995. Like, every concert I go to, every cinema movie screening, and I don't know, every band I see, I keep tickets and um, this is just one tin full. I know I've got loads more. <laughs> uh, I've got loads and loads of patches here. I'm going to stick these on a jacket one day if I ever get around to it. Um, double sided tape. This is just labels. Um, oh, this is a stamping block and two stamps envelopes, packing tape and loads and loads of sticky tape and a lock. Uh, I think that's roughly about it. Just, <laughs> just loads of stuff. Uh, this one has got, okay apart from the bubble wrap, um, it's basically just cords and bits and pieces. Um, uh, there's there's um, manuals from various things that I own. A uh, load of batteries, headphones, earmuff things. Yeah, so uh, just that really needs to tidy up. This here is my laptop case. I just keep it there. This drawer um, has got all my nail polishes and stuff. This is a contact juggling ball and so is this. There's a clear one in there. And I always, always wanted to be able to do that since like I saw um, Labyrinth with David Bowie when he's like doing loads of contact juggling. Even though it wasn't actually him doing it, but it looked like it. So that was pretty cool. So yeah, I need to practice. <laughs> Um, these are bunny treats for my rabbit, so whenever she comes up to me, I give her a little treat. This is my sort of main electrical uh, drawer, really. I've got a spare camera. I've got, uh, these are phone chargers, and these are camera cords, and some headphones. Uh, this is the memory and... In here is a case for when I change my hard drive to a solid state drive, I can put the hard drive in this and use it as an external hard drive. And I've got all my sort of memory sticks and stuff in here. And yeah, other bits and bobs. More wires and cords and stuff in here, but sort of the lesser used things. So I'm not gonna go through everything. Um, this is just a sort of a mishmash of lots of bits and pieces for my planner. I've got the Levenger hole punch, which punches holes like that. And if you go watch the video of the haul video where I show you the Levenger marker, you will see how this works. This is an egg cup holder. <laughs> These are hole punches. There's some little pegs, some little drawer things. This is a normal hole punch, uh, so rings I need to sell on eBay, just a clipboard thing, bits and bobs, just some inserts for my planner, some stickers, and here, this is what the planner looks like, it's got these rings, so that's why it hole punches like that, and some boxes, so that's that drawer. So this drawer, um, that that is a Bluetooth keyboard. Actually, I should sell that. I don't need it. <laughs> this is some more packing stuff. This is for my jewelry. These are just little bags and some tissue paper. These are samples from my spoon flower shop. 
So you can see here's one of my designs. And there's another one. And this is my most popular one. It's the Wicked Selfie design. Um, I'm not sure if you can still get it from Spoonflower, but you can get it from all my other shops. The links are in the description below. I've got artwork and photographs. Okay. I've got some feathers here. These are from my pet cockatoo back in Australia. So I was going to make a uh, one of those dream catchers out of this. Uh, I just got some Swan Star Design stuff there. I've got some stones, a jar. So this is my chair. It's actually clear. I got this chair from IKEA, which is pretty cool. So moving on, I've got a footstool here, but in this plastic drawer, I keep um, paints in the bottom mainly. I've got some glues, uh, spray paints. I've got some inks in here. Actually, in here I've got loads and loads of inks, and they're alcohol inks. I'll show you one. Uh, that's a bad colour. Let's get a nice colour. There we go. So it's the Adirondack alcohol inks. This second drawer is mainly tools and stuff. I'm not going to go through everything. There's a tape measure, and you get the idea. This drawer is empty. This here is a rug from Society6. It is my Tardis Spectrum design. So that's pretty cool. I need to put that somewhere. This is a guillotine. This is obviously a filing cabinet with all my files in it. Everything under here is tools. So I've got toolbox. I've got a router, I think, over there. I've got, oh, an old box that had my stereo in it. More tools, planer. Jigsaw, drill, heater, uh, loads of different tools in there. I've got screwdrivers and stuff in there. And this one's got paint and drill bits and stuff like that. So this um, is all from IKEA, these boxes and this um, shelving unit thing. It's the Kallax brand one. Okay, so this set of drawers has got all the bits and pieces that I need to put these things up on the wall. So these command hook things. I've got some Sculpey, I've got the case for the camera that I'm actually recording with. Uh, that's just some ropey stuff. And bits and pieces. Oh, check the size of that key. Isn't that cool? In here there's mainly just books like about London, bird watching, Atlas. Mainly stuff that my mum's left here, really. In here I've got some of my measuring tools and stuff. And also these are my... And these are my Prismacolor pencils. In fact, this bracelet that I'm wearing is made from things in this case. I've got some more jewellery bits and pieces here and more bits and pieces underneath. This under here is just, uh, that's a cinema ticket, but it's just a case thing. Uh, this drawer is not really used. I've got this lamp here because when I build my TARDIS, I figured I could use this as the top if I sort of cut it up a bit. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I'll, I'll get around to it one day, but um, it's dented and broken, so <laughs> I don't think I will use it. Um, this is just a whiteboard marker. This is a CD from my friend's band. And this drawer has just got packing in it. This drawer here has got some art supplies. I've got some acrylic paints, pastels, and there's some oil pastels and uh, oil colour as well. I've got... Oh, that's for my desk. It's to fill holes. <laughs> This is a sort of blotting thing um, to go with the alcohol ink. There's the case that it comes in, or the cardboard. Um, some trays for painting. This drawer, oh, this has got all my button supplies. I've got a one inch button maker and these are all the bits 
And these are the latest um, buttons I've been making. This drawer has mainly just got paper in it. This is all just plain paper. Um, these are, oh, I can pick them up. <laughs> Garbage Pail Kids cards. I absolutely love trading cards. And I love these, these are so cool. Um, in the back here, I've got, I think these are CDs, but I'm not sure, it's a CD case. And these cameras, these four here, are from my wedding, like in, Gosh, 2006? Wow, that was a long time ago. I'm no longer married, um, but yeah, these were never developed. And this was also never developed. I took this when I was on holiday in Turkey. So there's probably some underwater photos on that. I really should get those done. This drawer is a bit of a mess at first sight, but I know where everything is. This stuff is crap, so don't even look at it. Uh, I've got chains, this is all full of chains, um, this is some necklaces that I've made, this is an empty jewellery tools case, um, let's see I've got some stones in the back there, I've got beads, I've got these tiny little thingies, you put these, it's kind of like what my bracelet's like except there's no artwork on the back of them. Um, I've also got charms and I've got these sort of necklace things and the cabotons that go with it are there. Um, so yeah that's sort of more of these larger ones. The sort of necklaces. I don't think these turned out very well because the glue I used was pretty crap. So moving on. This last drawer is also a bit of a mishmash. Um, a streamer from a party. I've got my cash box. I've got just some little bags. I've got some string, some notes. I've got some necklaces and more beads in the back. And of course, some glow bracelets. Everyone needs a glow bracelet. So the only other thing to mention is this window is going to become French doors to go out into my garden. This is another chair that I've got. This box is not being used for anything and there's a little table with a fan on it. Oh, and I've also got some photos in that on the wall there. This was from Ikea as well. So I think that's pretty much it. Thanks for sticking it out to the end. I know that these workstation tour videos can be pretty long. Um, I will be doing an update in 2016, so keep an eye out for that next year um, obviously subscribe to my channel that'd be great and um, comment let me know what you think and also if you've got your own art workstation tour please link it because I love watching them and I'd love to see what everyone else has got so thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you in my next video bye